bag. When you open your bag of lines, you got three different parts. You're going to hang your saving line up there. Start it up to right. Putting in your Venus drip chamber into the clamp, your Venus transducer protector. Venus blood line to the dialyzer, just put here to the side. Venus blood line to the patient, to the bucket. Your arterial lines, be sure and clamp your Venus transducer protector. Put your arterial drip chamber in. T line where the saline connects, the saline line, you put that in place. Make sure your transducer protectors are clamped, the arterial and the venous. That's the two clamps you have to remember. Don't forget to clamp. Arterial bloodline to the patient. It goes right next to the venous bloodline to the patient. They're the ones with the big clamps. Your blood pump segment is this thick tubing here. And this is your arterial bloodline to the dialyzer. Put it next to the dialyzer holder. Open your blood pump door. You can just turn this so these rollers are out of the way. Remember, this goes in and out here. This little crown here has to be about a quarter inch below. Just hook it in right there. Got a little groove where it holds it in. Once that's in, push start. If it stops, let go, push start again. Get the rollers, grab the blood pump segment and take it all the way. When it stops at the end, just push it right in there. Shut the door, that's done. Get your saving line. You're gonna connect to the T line first. Spike your saline. And just follow the saline through onto the arterial bloodline to the patient that's in the bucket. So well, it has that little cap, it'll still uh, leak yeah. through it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It'll be two of those, uh, two of those uh, little protectors and uh, recirculators on each one when it's brand new. Okay. It's to keep everything sterile. Okay, once you see the saline coming out of the line of the arterial, clamp it. It's one. Next, you're going to fill the arterial drip chamber. Loosen the cap on the pick line. You don't have to take it all the way off, just loosen it. And fill that up to the line right there, which is called a bubble trap right here. Say it, man. Say it. One, two, three. Those are one, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three. That helps me remember. Okay, this is three. One is the arterial blood line in the bucket. Two is the drip, arterial drip chamber that you filled up with the pick line. Three is the arterial blood line to the dialyzer. Hold it over the bucket, push prime and start. You want to get the air out of this line. You don't have to get all the bubbles, just the major air. And then push stop. Then connect the arterial blood line to the arterial side of the dialyzer, which is the numbers, is the arterial side. Once you have that connected, flip your dialyzer. Get your venous blood line to the dialyzer that you put over here. Connect to the venous side of the dialyzer. Push start and lower the blood flow to 200. And you wait till the prime stops. The prime will prime about 300 cc's of saline through the dialyzer. And it'll empty it out down here in the through the it'll venous. Empty it in the bucket through the venous. That's why you want to keep this one unclamped and your arterial clamped. Rinsing out uh, any rental end that would be in there, any air in the dialyzer. So you just wait till that stops. I was watching you on YouTube yesterday too. I liked you, man. I put likes so you can have more likes. Good. <laughs> can he put you on YouTube? He's already on there. Oh, he did Yeah. Oh, so he did. I don't know. The student did it, but she didn't do the whole thing, you know?
she ask you to No. Well, she was asking me about it, and I said, well, I don't know if they allow it here at the school, or whatever. But she just, when she finished here, she did it without me knowing. I didn't know. But you are famous now. <laughs> I'm gonna show my husband. <laughs> But, you know, she should have waited till I get the whole thing. It says part one. Huh? Yeah, it should be better the whole thing, yeah, yeah. from beginning to, to end. Only to when you test the machine. That way you even show how to th give back the blood and all that stuff. That would be nice. Yeah. Okay, the priming stopped. You can tell when this blood pump stops and the light goes out. Once that stops, you want to clamp the venous that's in the bucket, pull them out, connect them together, once you connect them, then you unclamp. Hang your saline line. Now we're going to work on the venous side. We're going to fill the venous drip chamber. Loosen the cap. Fill it up to the bubble trap. Clamp it. You want to push reset for green lights. Okay, we have green lights. Stop the blood pump. You're going to go to testing options. And you would push both tests and confirm. I'm not going to push it because it's going to take about 10 minutes. So we'll say 10 minutes went by and it says test complete. When it's test complete, you're going to connect your transducer protector on the venous side. Unclamp. Cherry transducer protector. Unclamp. I'm going to always check those at the beginning of the okay, cycle. Cool. Okay, so you would check the conductivity of the dialysate by rinsing the myron meter out three times. On the fourth time, you fill it up with water. Put the hammer in, spin, push, record the number that shows on there. It should be from 30. To about 14.8. Check your pH. Go up here, 7.2. It's good. Okay, so now we can connect the dialyzer. Blue to blue, red to red. Stuff. Oh, really? So, yeah. Okay. So, I'm taking it off so it doesn't alarm. But I don't want you to get confused on that. Okay. So, now we would have said both tests, both tests are done. So, once you connect this here, you're going to do one, two, three. One is uh, primary One is circulate. primary circ. The next confirm. one's confirm. And then start. Okay. And go at least anything over 300, 3 to 400, 340 is fine. And now you're recirculating. I'm going to arm your air detector. And go to the home screen and you're done. Do we have to reset the values or the limits um, anytime or that's only okay. when someone was previously okay. using it? Yeah, well I'll show you that in a minute. You mean like to clear everything out? Last time, yeah, you told me yeah. to hold the reset button for a few seconds okay. so I can reset okay. the limits. You see, the, see the limits, how they're, they're close to the green, should be in the middle? Yes. Okay, you can you push override and hold it and then it'll reset the limits so that it won't, you won't have any problems. Okay. So that's the best thing to do, just push reset before you walk away. And that's it. You want to make sure you see it same recirculating and you want to see these numbers counting up. Once it reaches a goal of 200, it's done. So what do you recommend? Hit override or reset? Hold reset? Either, either one. I like override one? myself. Okay. It opens up bigger. Okay. Okay. And uh, that's it. Like I say, this right here is this part is uh, messed up. That's why I disconnected that. That would obviously be connected. All right. So that's the end, leaving it at recirculation. And then we'll continue with the rest after it's finished recirculating.